Morning, all. This is Fanny Hemsey. It's September 15, 2020. It's a Tuesday. It's 8.43 a.m. Eastern. Again, here, all times are Eastern. First of all, let me thank you, all of you, who were involved in the OTF uh, light uh, uh, trials that we put together using our uh, desktop environment. First, with uh, NQ, and then came the ES. Obviously, we're trying to fill the void, uh, but uh, I have to admit, and my team will agree with you, that uh, your sharing, your feedback, your agreement, disagreement, our ups and downs, technology challenges, uh, tech support issues, uh, it, 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 t times we got the trade right, times we got the trade wrong, were all inputs. All these inputs are appreciated. They were all meant in good uh, spirit. 99% war. There were a couple of folks that, that were impatient and they thought that somebody's going to spoon feed them dollar bills. It doesn't work like that. Trading is like a treasure hunt. You get out of it what you put into it. You have to be willing to put something in there. That separates boys from men or women from girls, whatever you want to call that. I don't, I don't, I don't mean to be sexist. But the bottom line is, I see that in a few of you. I've talked to almost all of you. And I see that, uh, I can tell. Those who did not make it, you know, uh, probably maybe five to 10% of uh, those who go to Air Force Academy become fighter pilots or Naval Academy become, you know, Naval aviators. There's a washout rate that's high. And uh, as Gary Kilpatrick, my coach at, uh, for Princeton crew would, would tell us almost weekly was, I will never throw you off the boat. You're gonna throw yourself off the boat. The issue is, can you put up with me? Can you can you just keep up with me? Can you do what it takes to excel? And if you keep that motto in your mind, and remember, he became an Olympic team uh, 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 head captain, you know, and I mean head, head coach. If you keep that motto in your mind daily, just repeat. As you get up in the morning, as you're brushing your teeth, remind that, that you're getting ready to go to battle. What does this battle entails? What are you up against? and uh, how you can grow your risk capital account. Not your investments, not your savings, this is risk capital. How you can build your risk capital account to something meaningful to make a difference for you and your family and the next generation. If you do the math, most people have, if they apply the skills and, if they, and discipline, it takes both. So with that, said, with that said, let's get on to the program this morning, but again, we appreciate all your feedback, and uh, if we didn't, and then one, one simple apology. If we fell short in certain areas, forgive us. We've had, we're going through tremendous, tremendous growing pains. I mean, between time and digest, nailing it in the, the short in February, the long in March 23rd, and, uh, uh, and then uh, these OTFs, and uh, uh, when we've had, and also the TCM, Tico Capital Management, growth that has had due to basically time of digest. I mean, we've had a number of uh, multi-multi size uh, clients have come in. Uh, 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 suffice to say, trade session doesn't know what to do. I mean, they're, they're $38,000 account size. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, I, I mean, yesterday I, I closed the client that uh, potential exposure is about 50 mil on a notional so yes, I need about a mil in an account to trade, to create that exposure. These are institutional people. They're not mom and pops. They're, and that's what I, I was surprised to see. Tommy Dias actually carries, I mean, has that audience, you know. But uh, over, if you've been there for a long period of time, very consistent, you can get some very large players. And you know what? They're not that painful. They're easy, actually. They understand the contract. They're not negotiating as if you're in a Persian rock bazaar, you know. They just say, oh, this is what it looks like? Okay, I, I want you anyway. Okay, let me sign. Well, rather than, uh, and word of mouth, obviously, word of mouth. The best thing in advertising in the money management is word of mouth. Let the other guy, let, let the client teach, feel, smell, eat the money in their account. You put food on their table. You do that, they'll tell their brothers, their sisters, their cousins. It just goes on mushrooms. So now not everybody's going to be qualified to do what you do, what you do for one client to the other, but at least. You get people coming in, and you're not, you don't need to be on the corner trying to advertise. You know, I, I hate advertising. I think good product sells itself. So, 
or an excellent product sells itself. You don't need to advertise. To me, advertisement is a marginal product. Who uses it a little bit of help. So, having said that, new day. Let's move forward. It's 8:48, and uh, day number one. We're gonna go to econ data. Okay, let me go there. Let's get our share going. Oops, I didn't have the share going. That's the share going on. Okay. And uh, uh, this is our just uh, oh, web page there. V2. This is our V2. The cloud legacy website. Moving forward, let's go here to uh, uh, 2020. That's it. That's Econa Day 2020. All right, again, today FOMC starts. Uh, they should be getting uh, ready. I think it's probably during the Dining table, having a very, very fine breakfast at the, at what we call the temple, the Federal Reserve Building in the downtown uh, uh, Washington, D.C. Uh, 8.30, what did the Empire State report? Let's take it quickly. As you know, I go over these on Mondays, but I, but I, we're just going to span. It used to have a chance before to move across different weeks, but the economy doesn't let that. But we want to know what the numbers are. The consensus may change slightly. You want to do it before the before the number, so we're a little bit after that. We're 19 minutes after, but six and a half is 17. This is a B report. It's green. It's a B report. Okay. We got another. Oh, that's for. Uh, let's see. We got another one. Import export sales. Also, that came in. Industrial production is in uh, uh, 21 minutes. Okay. So uh, this is a month one a year two year 1.2 came lower. Okay, this is a little bit, yeah, yeah, okay, that's fine, but that came lower, 0. 0.9, came 0. 0.5, yeah. So, both, if the activity is lower, why? Both export and import are both lower, you see that? We, it missed the mark. I'm sorry, no, no, hold on, hold on, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Prior was revised up, hold on, Jack, I'm not reading this right. Prior was revised up, revised up both export and import. And this one actually met, met the mark. Okay, okay. Slightly what it did. The, the imports were actually bigger than exports again, which is not unusual. You know, we do import when we export. We, we should be in the worst. We should be a net exporter. We're a net consumer. Uh, too many Walmarts, too many uh, Bed and Bath, too many uh, um, Cost Plus. This is all part of China Inc. We're the retail operation for China Inc. I mean, those are, I'm sorry. Industrial production, 9.15. That's what we got here. Again, economy.com. It's a free site. It does have a report on the weekends. If you're into really getting to this, you can get it on your, uh, you can order it on Amazon. I think it's $33 a month. It's nothing. And it reports into your Kindle. If you have a Kindle, ding, a Sunday morning, you get a little update. Good to read. Here's my only comment about it. Sometimes you can get too dense, uh, too much data. Yeah. I mean, they go into detail, you actually won't believe. If you have the patience, sometimes I'm having a little breakfast in bed, reading on the Kindle. Tico's playing around, and probably in the background is Meet the Press or Price the Guy. Yeah, but that's my Sunday mornings are. All right. Unless I have a guest over and that's a different problem. And then I get here with Tico because he gets so jealous. Yep. Yeah, poor, poor, uh, I won't mention her name, but every time she's around, he's crazy. One blonde competing for another, with another blonde. Unbelievable. All right. Three, 1.2. Okay. So three was last, consensus 1.2. Look at that range. Holy macro. Look, where, where I watch this? 9.15 today, okay? Industrial manufacturing output, 3.9. Consensus lower. Are you with me? Both of these are lower. And that's a tight range. Okay, so it looks like the industrial production is drifting down. That should not be uh, a surprise. That should not be a surprise right now. We have a lot of starts and stops here. This is a very uncoordinated, unprofessional uh, reopen uh, by, by the government. And they're, they're just it's way over their heads. It's simple. Very simple. If you look at it from an operational standpoint, you were in the Navy or, or the Northrop, that's what they're going to classify it. Very unprofessional, a lot of failures. Okay, we pulled back up. This is a cash. This is a 200 day MA. Oh, that's part of timing just, sorry. Okay, well, you see where we are. We pulled up over the moving average. Now, 
as I mentioned before about this chart, guys, my exposure has been that, my, my experience has been that. You expose yourself to this, but you need to be patient. Uh, it moves very slowly. And, and, and just like any other good indicator, the, the readings at extremes are vital, not in between. You're gonna have a lot of noise until the signal comes. Signal is built out of the peaks and valleys, okay? Here is a signal down here. Here is a signal up there, the signal up there. These are the things you need to look for. In between, as the, as next day and the following day is being formed, that is this bar around OTF, the white bar, okay. it's painstaking, just so it's slow. They're just slowly building it. But that's how the tea leaves form. We don't have a choice on that. Which things were easy. Which somebody would say, Admiral Tico says bye. It doesn't happen like that. Because why? Admiral Tico needs to decipher this himself. And he's stuck in the SSBN 731, just park outside in the lake, yes. So, I know somebody wrote me a notice. What is the SSBN 731? I said, have you heard of Google? Come on, guys. Okay, timer chart, let's go. All right. Nice comeback yesterday. Kind of strong when they sold into it. We're going to see it right here on the dot D. If you see it here, uh, okay. By the way, in the PlayStation 1.0, there's a feature I'll show you guys later that you can allow the right click twice. It, it, it switch in and out of the uh, panels you have. Again, 747, uh, pop cockpit, this is V10. Yeah, PlayStation V10 is really 747 cockpit. That means you got to spend your time a little bit understanding the parameters. You get once you set the parameters, oh my god, what they've done now, th Thursday. Or Friday is my goal to be down there. Hey, they're buying lunch. I got to pick up some per Persian groceries on the other side. So I'm going to uh, Fort Lauderdale. They're right outside, right before it's called Plantation. Uh, and then, you know, I got to pick up some uh, special food that uh, my dietitian is telling me. But you see what happened. We made the peak of the day early off. It did not, it doesn't, that's a retest failure. Okay. Uh, if I do it like this. Uh, let me bring it back like this. Yeah, and I will take these two out. Hold on, let me show you. Those are your daily indicators. We, we set parameters. First of all, key thing is your time zone. Offset is one because you, it depends where you are. I mean, uh, the zero is Chicago. This is the future I traded there. That's the offset. So you're here. I'm going to take these two bars out. Is one or zero? Just a simple flag. Rather than typing fault, true or false, that's what some of the programmers do. True or false, too much work. I'm not doing that. I need to be quickly in and out. So it's one or zero. Here's the line. As the line comes in, this is how we open. You see how the ID is being formed. Once it gets there, that's your form. You went to test it, failed. Could not even close again. And then drifts down slowly. We come back down here. And now we had a little crazy close there. I understand that. One of you commented that. I agree. But remember, by then, you should be expecting some reactions. Why? People are still right pregnant. On either side, long or short. And if they want to go home flat, they got to take the reverse side. So you get conflicting order flows coming in. That's the nature of the beast. That that creates the last hour, the last 45 minutes, let's say. So what you do in terms of initiating a trade, that's why a lot of systems do not want to initiate a trade past 3.30 because you're going to be caught in there. Now, if you're fast on your feet, and systems are not, systems are uh, not, not as efficient as a human being, but they're more subtle, and they're also looking for average returns. They're not trying to make exceptional returns. They're not looking for peaks and valleys. They're just getting the trend right, which is not bad either. And over a month, it adds up. But those will kick in, and you see them. It creates a little havoc toward the end of the day. But you just got to be on the right side and go. Listen, the CI did not miss that, and that's a five-minute chart. I usually like to see 10 minutes during the day. It just gives me a full picture. That's a full day. Gives me a feel how we closed yesterday, and then I just go down here and open this up a tab. There, you go. that's that's ideal. We'll keep it all, as always safe when you make a change. Save it. This is a key thing. We should put a save all button down there because I, I use I save constantly because I want to know the status I'm in, you know, the state. Okay, so back to timer chart. Nice bounce there off of the 50 bar the day before we set it. Uh, this was a Monday. This is no. This is a Monday, actually. That's a Friday, but Thursday was a tough day. Yeah, I agree. Especially with an outside bar, 
failure at step zero sig or 28 in this case 28 zero sigma and uh, but now we gotta go and take 34 28 out if we do and remember we send out the our admiral Tico said hey we're gonna go in today on the new new try again with our bias didn't change our bias with PMT but we changed our trade because the other one was stopped up uh, he put the order to you guys about here right as we were drifting down remember and this is uh let's see this is a uh, yeah this is four yeah we went out about 340 right about here right about here send the order out but we gave you plenty of uh, uh, alerts saying five minutes you know alert five alert, alert 15. those are from that uh like fire school you know when they say alert five you got five minutes so I mean, you got to be fueled and armed in your cockpit ready to go no if some buts okay don't tell me i'm busy with this or that can i miss the miss the optimum entry the entries are good you by the hour at best okay maybe half an hour why the theta changes delta changes the theta is not as much but delta changes quite a bit especially in a reaction time so as we enter this these three months of the year the challenge is going to be bigger so you're going to be more concentrated so definitely take the lunch time off if you can but be around for first two hours or last hour and alert when you sit there for lunch you reduce your ability to trade the last hour at this optimal point think about that okay you want to trade good in the last hour because there are opportunities no question you see the trend move you the, the trending period right and back and forth back and forth making sausage with the lunch time but that means you take the lunch time off so when you're back in on the saddle you're alert what good is it if you're tired and beaten up so allocate your time and resources going forward how are you hi jeff let's see let's see hi stephanie uh armando hello armando had a good question last night i think it was with the size of the uh es broadcast on uh, uh from california there are different machines armando yeah obviously we have built these machines these are, he, they're not running on the same machine you can't it'll, it'll crash um they're, they're running on very large servers but servers are not known to having huge display of, uh, you know cards or capabilities you, obviously in nq you got a little bit of edge because the machine is new the machine is one year old okay uh, the machine in california for yes is uh uh that's two, 2011 so that's nine years old the machine that ci cl runs is 13 years old 14 years old yeah this was one year old and this has an incredible card why i'm using it myself yeah i got three monitors on it has a 27 inch very very sharp display but what all the skype is doing is take the display and broadcasting it so if display is a smaller there's a memory that's what it is for us to revamp that that's quite a bit so remember we're not trying to give you all the nuances of it we're trying to give you the price the corn the probability price of the gold news I'm talking about let me show it to you this number is what matters to you this is a corner of probabilities whatever that this number is, is showing is what's crucial and the shape of CI so if this bar is a little bit tight to the other one is a little bit uneasy on your eyes get over it okay get over it yeah, yeah. The, the key thing is what that number is that's number crunching is doing and you need a big machine to crunch that for ES you do ES is the worst you know what back and forth a lot of back and forth a lot of back and forth doesn't trend so you need a big machine and those machine comes with certain uh, display cards you cannot just say oh you know what I want to put one of these guys in there why they're not uh, standard uh, PCs I mean the the, the, the the ES is run on a machine that we put the desktop to v200 not v3 v3 is on a cloud but on v200 seven grand we paid for in 2000 uh, no 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 that's the thing oh sorry I said that was it no that was a uh, seven grand was a good call it's like 11 grand especially made but it's, it's an inch and a half thick it's a half size the you want it's a half size pizza box they call them pizza boxes it's a half size pizza box it's an inch long you can't put that Nvidia card in there so we can't we cannot change our credit so but it does what it's supposed to do compute the number for ES which is so data intensive just so you can see volume you know we may trade uh if you go here for example 
Doc D volume was uh, no, that's a yes. Where's my Doc D? The Doc D was uh, million three three eighty five. I challenge you to see if NQ even gets close to that. Million three traded, and all of it in the same price. Now we need that we have to find the block trades. Yeah, so you need a big machine. The ES is the right machine. There's no question about it. The design team did the right thing of recommending which software goes where. That's not the issue. The issue is you're not gonna get a big display there. So, sorry, but that's the reality of it. I I think I mentioned a comment to you on email, but I want to share it with others because this way at least this question is answered. Hi, Dave Bullock. How are you, sir? Okay. If those hear this or be playing this on their own, they'll see what to expect. Okay. You can't always get what you want. Remember to make Jagger? Yeah. But but you gotta try something. I, I understand that. So I appreciate the question. All right, back to here. This is unusual scale. This is a correct scale. Well, obviously, we have no new lows. Not up here. We're too high up. You know, we're basically getting back struggling at the area that we were there. we had the high for a long time. You can see it here. All time I put in February with Admiral Tico shorting it, as you saw in PMT, live, yes. and, he, and reversed on March Equinox, 23rd. Go back to your choice, right there. I mean, the sun are gone. I don't know how he did it, but uh, I want to have what he's having for breakfast. This is 24th, okay? This is 23rd. There we go. He reversed on 23rd. You couldn't get a better entry, Murray. You couldn't get a better entry. That's why. If you go to this chart, and I'm, I'm proud of Admiral Tico. If you go to uh, our, uh, the, uh, where's that? Where's that chart? There we go. If you go to our chart, you'll see. That's how this, this edition, this is, this is almost like free money was having so fast, was added. I mean, this gain was added to this loss here. For us, it was gain, both of them, who were short and then long. Why? We, we had precision reversal at March Equinox, as stayed in the webinars, as sent out to, uh, uh, to uh, uh, Time and Digest. Remember, this is based on the, the emails as recorded by Time and Digest. This is key, as recorded. If they don't record it, we're not in. It doesn't count. They have to they take time, time, they have to agree with Time and Digest. Their machine shows, you guys get a copy of both. And now we're at all time high, no question about it. Of the return, not the spread, but the return. Our all-time high of spread was about here, right about here. We killed it, right about here. This, this is a dump. This is this basically erased the Trump presidency. That was eighteen thousand on down. It erased it. We continued. But I mean, okay. And now look where we are. But we look at the spread, the difference between where that is and not. And I challenge you, all of you, any of you, go to Morningstar, try and find somebody who's done what I've done. Remember, it's five years. So it's about 20%. We'll be beating the benchmark by 20% over per year compounded over five years. Now, you cannot take, obviously, it's a little bit skewed for this period, but here's our spread. The only time I got behind was I was at that really nasty car accident, a lot of pain and no sleep for about a month. That could, and then the moment I was back on the salary, you saw what happened. Troll up. So, but we'll see. Obviously, I think 138, 135, whatever that point was about here. We're it's about to rotate up, but it's still adding, it's having difficulty. I think probably a year at this point where that the best spread. Why? We got we're long now from down there. And still uh, now we have had a few mistakes. Up here, these are mistakes. This happens, we're not perfect, we're human. But what matters is 144 trades. This is 144 trades. For a long period of time, and look at the consistency of the return. That's why I'm rank one, and most likely, if the universe is with me, if I don't goof up between now and December, I'll be rank one for the year, year 2020, and I'll send you a copy. Don't worry, it'll be a cover page issue of time and days. But also, more importantly, back in 18, uh, 2018, I was rank one for eight years. If I get this, that means I'm rank one for the decade. Yeah, thanks to Admiral Tico, we nailed it. Okay, coming back up on SP1, we can digress, we're digressing here. Uh, um, SP1, I mean, I just doesn't I acknowledge the help of OTF folks, but I want to also acknowledge my team, the head of which is Admiral Tico, as you know, we're all going to be working for Admiral Tico one day. 
just remember that as, as one of you guys said a few years back <laughs> kind of a kind of a as a fun thing but it turns out it's, it's working out that way anyway okay uh so we're coming back up the tab that's expected this is advanced decline it's healthy not regular advanced decline it's very very massage advanced decline and it, it's so it's sp it's spx advanced decline it's not regular advanced decline it's, it has to be this 500 names what matters is 100 names. And you know what I, I'm, I'm happy is? Tesla is in here. If Tesla is, oh, well, Tesla is 500, yeah. Tesla is not 500, it's too volatile, yeah. If Tesla was here, this would be more erratic. I'm happy about that. Yeah, I don't think Tesla made it. Yeah. There was no talk about Tesla going to down. That's just, no, that's gonna happen because it's still a promising technology concept. Right. And that one up was all soft bank. If something doesn't make sense, a step back. So short calls, are you kidding me? All right. On technology, short calls on technology in the middle of COVID. Are you nuts? All right. Last time we had we had SQ. Remember, this is not solved every night, depending on the solutions of the how they compute this. Of the deep island of money, SPX puts. Okay. I don't know how they handle the spread, you know, the long and short of it, but, but uh, uh, I, I got to ask, I, I can, I, I'm sure I can go to Admiral or a couple of guys I know at the production part side, part P, the PMs at SIBO, uh, to see what how this is done. I mean, I want to get it from the course as well. But we pull up, okay, look at it every night, it's 131. Okay, no signal here right now. Okay, this was a signal, this was a signal, remember, this may give it one or two signals a year. Again, talk about being patient. If you're not, this is not for you. Hi, Nancy. Nancy helped me quite a bit last night. She was spectacular. Right, Nancy? Uh, on uh, uh, getting the, 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 the these uh, maze that we had created, understood and applied for, taking the Skype out to, 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 um, to a station, I mean, the Two years out, and uh, we three out those who uh, went through the trial, but as of yet, that not converted. The price did change last night about 6.30, 6.20. And for uh, OTF flight, that's 3.60 now. We had to, you know, we, we got more, a little bit more than expected cost. Plus we added a lot of value. We did not have charts there, we added charts, both in the historical sense and also live. And uh, the audio is much better than, uh, what do you call it, Zoom, not Zoom, what was it before? Slack, Slack was a disaster. Slack was a disaster. It was a disaster experiment. Only 15 people, that's nothing. You know? So, all right. Uh, let's go here. Again, I'll have a better read on the VX spread. That's a three months spread. Once this, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, Murray. Hey, Murray, we're there. Uh, looks what happened. V is lead now. That's what I was looking for. Remember what we talked about? V. So we're going to go and change this right now on the fly. We will take the data. Oops, hold on. No magic here. You guys can do this yourself, uh, but this is not a regular Sigma channel because you have a spread there already, right? This is a Sigma channel of the spread. Keep that in mind. So we're going to put uh, uh, October in. So we're long October instead of September. And going to be short F21. Okay. My favorite airplane? No. No, it was F-23. I was on the bid team. Come on. Uh, yeah, yeah. And the stupid Air Force went with uh, 22. And look the mess they have. And very few was built, too. The biggest problem they have is their uh, mask. Yeah. It's not giving them enough oxygen. So, what's this? Yeah, what? VX, F, oh, not 23. I put 23 in there. Jesus. All right. Calm down. 21. There we go. Yeah, sorry. Oh, yeah. The, the, the mask is a problem. And last thing you want to do in a pilot that's taking pulling G's, not to have your oxygen hit his brain. Yeah. Yeah, I think the next generation is going to be a derivative of F-18 and F-14. That's a Northrop contract. Boom. Those both of them. Northrop Grumman, I should say. Long live NOC. Yeah. And of course, on the B-2s, you see me put it there. Long live five line bombing, BW, and they ask for this stuff. I said, there's Google, guys. Please go, go use Google. I'm not your Google. 
All right, so we change our spread now. So let's interpret that. Yeah, that's much work understanding. So we'll log V, V and short as uh, Z, Z, uh, VX, I'm sorry, VX F21, which is January. So now we're going to go there. Uh, why is it doing this? Not symbol. Oh, no, no, no. I want to, you know, no, I want to, okay. I got to fix this, but I got to take you out. I don't need, we don't need you anymore. Oh, I should do it on your volume. That's what it is. Okay. Volume is the best. Okay. So, and that's the that's right? So now, uh, we're going to take U out. U is meaningless now because V is ahead of it. Boom. Okay. So we will tell it why. Today's Tuesday. I see. Yeah. So the, 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 the pros are already rolling out. You see that? Because it's a, it's a monthly. So. Okay. so that's the spread. 1.5. What does it mean? All this good and dandy, but what does this mean? That means that, you know, when we get, when we hit zero, that's the bottom. So we may have a little more drop. Okay. Uh, now we have a delta here of four. So that's a three. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if we hit a zero. Yeah, that's it. So yeah. So we may have a still a tad of a, a downside. This is a little bit unusual, really. But that's the whole thing about VIX is now. We have said several times now, last few weeks, that as we go up here, look at that's 30 handles. That's 30 points on the down. Thank you, Admiral Tico, for your what we call terminal guidance, very key in missile technology. Uh, but look at what VIX is up to. So please, and here's the time structure. Watch for the uh, uh, VIX is and the VIX futures, the term structure that's going forward. And uh, we are asking 25 now, a spot versus a 30 for October, 29 in the, no, November, and 29 also in December. Volumes are very small there. Yeah, it's early, but let's see how it goes. I usually like to close, look at this, near the close also. Okay, yeah. Okay, stock RSI making the base there. The shorter one is doing a W. You can see it. You got to see the W, right? This is a W also right there. Okay, oh. Okay, key point on that, look what the signal we're getting from a true untested. Yeah, one of the features of SP2 is this, is, is cycle analysis, built-in cycle analysis using a sinus wave. Sinus, in, in French they say sinus, sinus wave. So it's looking for that cycle inside and look at what it's giving us. My, one of my oldest indicators ever, home boot. Uh, there was a hedge guy who was trying to, struggling, and he had like a mail under management and finally blew up. But he wanted me to do something together like this. Got the idea started. He never was there for the completion. He had blew up. And at that time, I was more of an analyst than anything else. As as a, one of the speakers at Max 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 Mask Mask was market analyst of Southern California told us. You're, good. you're going to be a good trader. You're going to be a good analyst. You usually is one of the. You usually are one of the two. You're never both. Okay. So morning, Peter. Morning, uh, Keith and uh, uh, Ken. What he said was team up. You're going to find people in chat rooms too, where people hang out. Either there's an investment club or uh, or is it in person uh, or uh, uh, like a virtual. Try to team up and. Uh, Put the best together. You find your strength is being training, or is it your strength is analysis? You can do both. Very few have done both. Okay, I've tried to be on that journey. The problem with that journey is that if you want to do both, it's a long journey. Mr. Gelato, more ice cream, please, for Mr. Gelato. Alex is here, bravo. I thought we lost you. I know you're busy, but you told me you told me you're going to be really busy between uh, October to December. That's the best part of the market. Gelato, what are you doing? Maybe, you, maybe you're reading too much Gelato, okay? Remember, he's Roman, okay? You remember that, he's Roman, so. He actually runs a Roman version of PlayStation. It's called TSR, yeah. He, there's a copy for him. And a couple other guys, like Esposito. These are guys that are all Romans. I give them a hard time. Because the Romans, the, I lost the last emperor to the Persian, so we got to we got to remind of these guys because they get a little bit too cocky. You know, they hit a couple of balls out of the 
out of the ballpark, they think they know everything. So sometimes you gotta wake up and say, listen, at the end of the day, you're a Roman, okay? Yeah. You'll never beat the Persians. Plus, how are you gonna pay for it? With feta cheese and olive oil? At least Persians are oil, what do you got? <laughs> Remember, war costs money. So, yeah, so long story short. And gas, don't forget. Sausage is the payment. <laughs> yeah, right, this is the last sausage. Remember, nat gas. Iran has a lot of nat gas, especially on the Persian Gulf. That's huge amount. I, listen, the, the DN, the INI, I think it was, or INA is called, I forget. It's an Italian company, actually. Did a contract with Iran during the Shah regime. This is even before I was born, like 55, 56. And I used that model in 77 with uh, one of my professors to show why that model was non-concessionary oil and gas contracts in, in Persian Gulf, created the working model of OPEC. Of course, what triggered OPEC, but, didn't, but OPEC didn't have teeth. OPEC got teeth because of uh, embargo, 73 uh, Yom Kippur War, the embargo, and uh, he got teeth because my dad, with, with his contacts with uh, the Israeli Defense Forces, including General Ryan, Ryan uh, no, no, no. Rabin, Rabin, General Rabin, Rabin, because he had known from 67 war, he got three tankers into Haifa immediately. With the proviso that Kissinger and Nixon approved, we go from three bucks to 12 bucks. That's how open got teeth for 73 war. Very tough here. I remember that. My dad was so tense. We were going to live in Washington. And uh, between the keeping the show abreast of things on the daily uh, telegrams, secrets, no, I mean, coded telegram. The, uh, the, the Zahedi and Kissinger and Nixon back and forth. And on what we were trying to do to help, it was crazy. But Shah always was a friend of Israel, always, always. And he felt that, that, that Israel is a balancing act between Iran and the Arabs. Yeah. Yeah, so. And then the Air Force were very close. Oh, yeah, the Air Force, I mean, they did teams to get all that stuff. And the Air Force, and the Israeli embassy in Tehran was the second largest after the U.S. embassy. All right. Well, now we're going to go, guys, enough of history. Let's go to fractals. I'm getting long-winded. That's not good. That's not a good sign. Here we go. Here's your fractals. But well, we want to go and do an MD overnight view first, right? Okay, we try to be in our routine. So it's, this this sort of thing get uh, uh, meaningful. All right, there's, there's a, oh, it's a here. Oh, sorry. The tab was there. Okay. Overnight, steady up. These are 30 minutes. Long view. We want to get a little better view. Go to 15, but no mass. No more. Why? As a, one of you guys wrote to me, Paul Chan, he's from Australia. So we're straight at nighttime. The rooms are open, charts are open. Boom, no problem. But no, but patterns are slightly different. Okay. So, uh, why? Volume. Volume is a big issue. And if the volume is in there, what is in there? What is in there? Blocks. The blocks are in there. So, it's not zero block, but a few, very few. So, we, we still have to show the current price and current, but some of these are a little bit thin. So I rely what happens when, when the US market open. Okay. Yeah. The only exception is next week. Yeah, for Jewish high holidays, we're gonna be on a low volume. So starting, I think it starts at, uh, at sundown on uh, Friday. So starting Monday to the following week, it's 10 days. The following week, 28, we're gonna have unusual volume. If you don't have to trade, don't trade. Okay, if you don't have to trade, don't trade. So uh, I mean, I'll I'll, I'll 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 cut back heavy. I'll take at least a half, maybe a two third of volume out. I'm not gonna trade anything crazy. It, it is good challenge, but uh, you, the the sharp the, the, the knife is too sharp on your neck. But that's what we have done. Basically, up. Look at this. This is how you look at it. There you are under the curve. All positive. All positive. Now, and Q trends better. So is this. So pretty much after this cross, which was at the uh, 9.45, I'm still at the, we're watching the game. But right about here, the CI, it's, I'm sorry, here, the CI gets positive, right there. I mean, this is the CI, not the smooth CI, the CI, the teal. This this gets there, right? The, the, the smooth is a signaling tool, okay? And tells us color and slope, and takes us all the noise out. But CI went positive at about 10.15. Yeah, I was, I was, I was driving home, yeah. So, and uh, pretty steady go up there. So, look at the CI diffs. 
Very little downside. Green, 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 green. Yeah. All right. Let's go to NQ fractals. What time is it? 9.22, we got to hustle. Above first target of the confluence. Remember, watch the nuance. Uh, uh, yeah. so, so, watch the nuance uh, uh, that we uh, video. We crossed the target, the cross of the Bijan bands and Kessler bands. We did that both. We got K targets and B targets. K targets and B targets, okay, for sure. Went through, very clean, steady there. Do we have a possible position? No, we have no, oh, we had a cross here, that's it. Let me put that color on for you. There we go. By the way, I added labels to ES and NQ, uh, no, NQ added, to ES and to uh, uh, CL, and this morning we added for FTAC, so all four Skypes, uh, that uh, the two of them are you guys use, and then you share these two with the OTF guys who get also the, the full OTF that they get the crude, uh, crude and Skype. I've added the, the label up there for you guys. I don't know why we didn't have it, but those are prefixed, they'll never change that those, those displays. Why it's not manned, right? Here I'm manning and I'm moving things around. I may forget over there, boom, steady, okay. Uh, I have to do another analysis, yeah, with new contract. This weekend, I got to get more data on Z20. No, we have some back data, but it wasn't active. It was not lead. So that, some of that is suspicious. Keep that in mind. Okay. Okay, what else do we want to look at? That's it. I don't do ES for you here. It can take a long time to load. And uh, also, I don't want to be around during the open. The guy comes from. With that said, thank you so much. Uh, welcome aboard, new members. And, uh